Let's see what's inside. Today's video, we are going to start with the shipping. Um, this model is brand new and a sealed package, and it's going to start in Ireland, New York. There is the original tape on the other end as well. So it's sealed, going to start in Ireland, New York. And the next one is a Tommy Henry. And this boy goes to Warrington, North Carolina. There's nothing I can show about this, but this is brand new. But this one I can show it is working. There it goes. I have a few gems that I'm painting black, but uh, at the moment I want to paint the dome gold. Here is the metallic gold spray paint. Most of these domes are scratched and the gold color is kind of brownish. So let's update this. Now the domes have been painted gold and the next step uh, are the face of these um, James, they are um, very yellowish, so I need to repaint them each of these. Yeah, that dome looks very goldy, looking good. Here is our blue Henry. I don't know, it's too much light, I think. That's why it looks so bright. Here is blue Henry and Thomas, Annie and Clarabel. Let's put another one for sale on eBay. This is how the Jane faces look after the paint. Here's a reference. Uh, the models were in a very yellowish color. Now they're looking better. The eyes are looking okay for James. So next step, eyebrows. Okay, eyebrows have been done. They're looking good. I'm not gonna say perfect, but they are good. Next step. I will add a satin clear coat to the faces. The gloss on these uh, faces look good. It's not gloss, it's actually satin. Satin finish, uh, pretty close to their face, um, original face. Uh, but we're done with these uh, models. Next step, let's remove the tape. Yep, that's a very big difference compared to the condition they were before. They are looking good. Hi, right, cool. So we have uh, two mold sheds. I'm gonna put it together. Let's see if um, it's complete. Of course, it's missing the uh, support. And I think I made some supports for sale. Tin mold shed is complete. All the roof, doors and walls and the turntable are working. The only thing I mi is missing is the uh, supports. The supports that goes in the back. I thought I had some uh, for sale. I think they are on my website, customtrackmasters.com. So I'm gonna find the replacement and put them on this. Um, and I will put this for sale on my website. Remember, my website, you save more. If I put it on eBay, it's more expensive and shipping and everything. I found the original. Uh, it's the only one I, I found right now. There is a mess in the garage, but anyways. And I found two copies, original, copies so this will be on my website customtrackmaster.com see the problem with this uh, support is that uh, they get lost and you cannot find them most of the uh, listings on eBay they do not include the supports so but this one will include the supports well since I made a lot of projects at the same time I'm about to paint this silver for the Timothy the ghost engine I have eight faces here and here are the tops, I'm sorry, the top of the or body of Thomas or I mean Timothy the Ghost Engine. They are ready, just need the uh, faces done. And let's continue. All right, the Thomas faces are ready for paint uh, for silver color for the Timothy the Ghost Engine. Now these faces I couldn't remove. They were glued to the body, the shell or the top, whatever you call it. So I protect the whole body or the whole project. So I don't, I will not uh, spray paint the finished product. And then we're ready to go with uh, the Timothy the Ghost Engine Silver paint. 
faces have been painted silver they are ready for eyes brows and the red mark a lot of people like the blood mark on this timothy the ghost engine faces what a creepy eyes on this uh, timothy the ghost engine so far so good we have the eyes mouth and eyebrows on this timothy the ghost engine next um i guess i'm going to do uh, some live stream or something okay we are ready for the live stream and today we have a mess here in the garage so there's the camera mess everywhere so i haven't done yet my my studio so hopefully i can get it done uh, before winter see the thing is i gotta sell all these models and i haven't had the time to sell the boxes i've been shipping some boxes all right we are done with the live stream and next uh we have done also with the pupils and red marks on this timothy the ghost engine and the next step uh it's uh i'm gonna put the tits those creepy tits on this uh timothy so i'm using acrylic paint and then after that i use a um, clear coat for the um, faces once we apply the clear coat on uh, the eyes and the red marks stand out it gets bold we are done and let's continue let's see what else we have on the live stream a subscriber told me to keep these models and customize and sell for the hard guys i don't or won't use them and i want them to go to good oh okay okay thank you to thomas lover so i will definitely fix them i really appreciate for the donation um yeah i will i will get this will support my channel of course thank you but if you want them back let me know thank you my friend for uh, the donation and i see that you made a custom battery cover it's nice it's uh, out of wood pretty clever yep great idea look guys very nice battery cover only uh with a piece of wood good job man this one definitely there's no way to test it um and toby comes with batteries and it's making a um, loud noise so it needs a new coke gear now let's try tamis is it working It's dead. Hello, oh. I'm Thomas. It moves. Now, if you have, if you guys, if you guys have the same experience that it's making sounds and it's not moving, it needs uh, fresh Hello, batteries. I'm Thomas. We took the batteries out, put good ones inside, Hello, and I'm and it's working. Let me tell you, it's kind of slow, and there's be a problem on the model. Batteries are good, but it looks like there is some um, hair or let me tell you, there is this um, carpet hair also that might be inside this talking Thomas. But other than that, it's not making a, a clicking noise and it's good. Okay, that's it.